this is again now. Um, so, what Pixel Powers was, was a sequel. Uh, our game that we're launching this summer uh, in time for the World Cup is actually a reboot of one of our older games, which also Nisa reviewed back in 2011, which was called Dice Soccer. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. So it was like a. A little bit of Pokemon, a little bit of Magic the Gathering, right? Uh, but it's a card collecting soccer uh, game where basically once this loads, <laughs> you, you, go. you go into uh, playing a, a seven on seven soccer game against an enemy team or a French team where every card is basically a six sided dice, right? Yeah. And they all come with unique uh, dice and abilities. And so what we've done is we've uh, updated all the art, improved the mechanics, uh, turned the meta game into uh, card collecting driven, right? And um, yeah, cool. it, infinite randomly generated, but um, whoa. Memory, memory. Is, is power still running? Did I not shut down powers? No, no, it's, I think just the general memory issue. Alright, so we. Last yeah, it's in development. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> Last time around, we authored all the cards, and basically, once everyone collected all the cards, they were kind of done with it, right? Even though the game has, uh, sorry, in, uh, a lot of replay value because it's all about finding the right combos that work together. So this time, we've developed a system for the game to create cards for you. So when you open a pack, you get a randomly generated character with, oh, cool. a, with a completely different look, completely different stats, but always balanced to work and based on their rarity. So this is a bunch of common cards I'm opening. Hopefully one of them will be rare. And so you get them from different countries, different nationalities. Oh, this here's a rare card, right, with high numbers. But high numbers don't always mean a victory because the key the, the key aspect of this game is forming the combos. Just to refresh your memory really quick. Um, the main game mechanic is set up your team. A lot of time is spent here forming your the combinations. And once you go into the game, you see how your combos work. Because what you're supposed to do is both teams roll their dice. Whoever has the highest sum wins. So, and then they trigger their abilities. Why is it lagging so much? Yeah, oh, but my output is just kind of rough. Ah, right. Okay. So, so even though they're at nine and I'm at six, I have a guy who anytime anyone rolls a three. He gets a 2x ability, so he can give the 2x to this guy, make it a uh, so the score is going up because I'm stacking up the multipliers, and now it's 27-9. I, I get the ball, I get possession, and basically you want to try and take the ball all the way up to goal and score there. As you progress, obviously the opposition is going to get tougher and tougher, maybe with better numbers, better uh, abilities. So you're going to figure out what kind of buffers you want, what kind of debuffers you want. You know, there are all kinds of abilities like silences and purges and all the RPG tropes, but put into um, a soccer format. So we got a lot of good critical uh, feedback, uh, positive critical feedback um, last time around, so we wanted to launch it properly in time for the World Cup with um, with better art and better uh, better features, a better meta game. So, right. so yeah, that's 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 that soccer. Cool. That and when is this coming out? Uh, this, it has to be out before the World it has Cup. To be out so, or else. Yeah. Just, Cool. Is it going to be free to play? Or? De definitely free to play. Uh, the, so, a similar to Hearthstone kind of uh, model, where basically you just buy card packs, and and there's, there's always going to be a pack you can buy with in-game currency, and then there's packs you can buy with your uh, with your own money. And we're going to keep the in-game currency like flowing in a way that you can at least get a pack a day, right? But um, if you want to run through packs faster, then you can pay up. But um, yeah, so there's a full-fledged meta game where you can there are daily goals. There's you can trade your cards. There's achievements. You can go dress up your team, give them different kinds of uh, jerseys. We have hats and scarves and boots and everything you can whatever you might want to do to your player. So um, yeah, we're going full tilt on this, and then hopefully Pixel Power is slightly uh, later down the year. Yeah, cool, dude. Well, thanks for showing me these. No worries. Thank